When I think back to being a kid, the anticipation of a snowstorm, I couldn't really focus on anything else. Harvey is a giant in his right. field. Harvey gets locked into a zone. Here we go, hour by hour. It's like watching Picasso. I know there are nights he never goes home because he wants to make sure he gets it right. I'm enamored by his humor and his and knowledge. People can trust when Harvey says it's going this way, it's going this way. There's the storm. I've been forecasting weather on Boston television over 40 years. I think it's just something that's in my blood. Somebody came along and tried to destroy something important to us. We must not feed the terror. We are Boston. We are one family. We are one community. We hurt together and we help together. Every one of us stands with you. We will rise and we will endure. Even when our heart aches, the spirit of this city is undaunted. The grace this tragedy exposed is the best of who we are. Well, I've been a lucky guy to work in the town where I grew up. Nothing beats opening. Lynchy brings tremendous experience and perspective. That's a story here. Back Something happens in the sports world, that's the guy you want to listen to. Because not only has he seen it for all this time, he has played it. High Five has been a signature of his. He goes in, he highlights kids. What he's done for high school athletes is incredible. I'm so proud of every one of them. High Five! He's just Mr. Sports here in Boston. That's all you can say. 2016, we crossed the country reporting history. Pure chaos here. One of the most important moments of the campaign. Mourned tragedies. Held the powerful accountable. Why the change of heart? Where did the money go? Do you think there needs to be more oversight? We cast our votes. What a wild 24 hours. Forged a new path. Massachusetts is going to legalize. Saluted a legend. It was a feel-good night here at Fenway. And welcomed another home. The revenge tour kicks off. Life is back to normal. WCVB New Center 5. Celebrating 45 years. Striving every day to be Boston's news leader. The following breaking news in Boston. Trusted local journalists. Unmatched coverage. Eyes of experience looking out for you. We're tracking heavy the rain. The team that has your back everywhere you go. Steadfast in our 45-year tradition. Service to the community and coverage from the halls of power to your hometown to every corner of New England. Here we go. As we rise to the challenge of a new year, you know we're here for you. WCVB News Center 5, Boston's news leader. It's not in your town. I had a vision of what I thought a heroin addict was. It's not your problem. We don't want to believe that our loved one is suffering with a drug addiction. It's not your kid. My son, who was an honor student, is shooting heroin. Massachusetts opioid crisis. Measuring the impact. Raising the children of a lost generation. Treating users saved from the brink. Five on State of Addiction. A primetime special. Tuesday at 10 on WCVB Channel 5. Sponsored by Recovery Centers of America. New England, our breathtaking home. This is beautiful. Where people are friendly. <laughs> this wine just makes you happy. Food, plentiful. What are the rest you're gonna eat? And history runs deep. You break your wooden teeth. You never know what you're going to find. Hey guys, this is something new. It's like a little hobbit house. So come explore with us. Oh! There we go. <laughs> Chronicle. Hole in one, anyone? Weeknights at 7.30. Yeah! <laughs> on WCBB Channel 5. Controversy. Vote your conscience. It was pure chaos here. Scandal. Boos are loud and proud. Drama. A season of discontent. WCVB New Center 5 bringing you every moment. I will win. Join us. Now the race to November picks up speed. Follow every twist and turn. The information you need to make sense of each surprising development. All the way to election night. Stay with WCVB New Center 5, Boston's news leader. I grew up watching Channel 5. And I'm Maria Stefanos. My family loved the news. Maria Stefanos went to Pentucket Regional High School. Emerson alum. She's just very warm and likes to give. Genuine to the core. Relentless in giving back to the community. This is incredible. Because she really cares. Maria is the same person on the air and off the air. <laughs> she has the ability to put people at ease so they can tell their story. Where it all began for you. To be able to tell people what's happening in their backyards is an honor. Take us with you everywhere you go with the WCVB app. You stick with me through thick and thin, you never let me down, no. Watch New Center 5 on your schedule. Right now, Get breaking news as it happens. Breaking story. Where I go, you go, we go. Live
traffic and weather where you are. Or take a trip with Chronicle. Gorgeous here. Stay connected with the WCVP app. Everything you need, everywhere you go. Where I go, you go, we go. Let's take you there live now to see what a massive storm. Millions of people without power along the eastern seaboard. We were there with an early warning. The time to prepare is now. From the hardest hit areas to every corner of New England. We are right now experiencing some of the worst of Irene. Water is moving very, very quickly. I've never seen anything like this before. As New England recovers, stay with us for the latest on the aftermath. The cleanup uh, obviously is going to be continuing. NECN, New England's news station. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ed Harding. To be able to do the news here is special to me. Ed Harding is a kid who grew up here. Grew up in Newton, went to Newton North High School. He has that deep well of institutional knowledge. Ready for work every single day. It's like he's carrying on a one-on-one -on -one relationship with each and every viewer. How are you? Why do you do what you do? Every story, every newscast matters. Pours every ounce of himself into the job. That's something that's very special. I have yet to feel like I've worked for a day in my life, and it's the truth. Chronicle, connecting you to places you've never been. Ah, muchas gracias. Moments that make you smile. Oh, hello. hello. <laughs> Cheers. People who make the world a more interesting place. Viva! Probably the most dangerous job in the world. Stories that remind you to live life out loud. Don't complain and don't quit. Every single day, I thank God. Connected to what makes New England special. Connected with Chronicle. Only on WCVB Channel 5. I don't die easy. In a story you'll only see here. I heard one step behind me that should not have been there. She takes us back to the scene of her nightmare. I saw leaves, I saw blue sky, and I saw this face. He said, didn't I tell you not to look at me? I was just basically saying, uh, you're going to be OK. You didn't think she was going to make it? No. Monday at 10 on Fox 23. Friday at 11, she's one of the state's highest paid court clerks, earning a six-figure salary. But when we followed her day after day... Can you explain why you're not at court? How does she do it? Five Investigates, Friday at 11 on WCVB News Center 5. Friday at 6, for the FBI, the marathon bombing changed everything. Five investigates Karen Anderson and Boston's FBI chief, recognizing today's terror threats. You think this would have made a difference five years ago? Friday at 6, on New Center 5. She's around all the time. I would go into this one room and talk to a lady up there. Practically a member of the family. Mrs. Woodman was showing up in family portraits. The only problem is she's been dead for a hundred years. I've heard sounds, bright lights. So you could see her whole body floating. Yes. Imaginary friend or visitor from the other side. Who is Mrs. Woodman? The spirit of Mrs. Woodman, Thursday on the only news at nine. Hey, listen up, TV Diner is taking you to Puerto Rico. For lots of food, culture, and fun. Yeah, this is so good. Some of the most spectacular visuals, some of the most delicious food we've ever had. How about this hat for you? Uh, plus, I sit down with the first lady. That's your recipe. Huh? It is my recipe. Oh! <laughs> this is awesome. That's TV Diner. March 26th, 10 a.m. and 7 p.m. Right here on NECM. What if you were dead for 57 minutes and returned to tell your story? Tuesday. I floated straight up and there's this bright light. It's like lightning. There's a debate raging about the reality of near-death experiences. All those are sort of hallucinatory experiences. It's a virtual reality. I had no heartbeat. I had no pulse. And you're telling me it's all in the brain? 57 minutes. Tuesday at 9 on NECN.